Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. Alright! So we're gonna do Resident Evil 4. I'm gonna do a playthrough. And I'm gonna do a no damage playthrough. And I'm also gonna be collecting all the treasure. So, I hope you enjoy it. And, um... This is gonna be great. This is basically my favorite game of all time. And, uh, Resident Evil Just give me a 4. second while I give myself a little pep talk. Okay. All right. All right, Matthew. I've really uh, done a great job with video games, and um, I've perfected many games, and I got all five stars and the mercenaries on all four levels with all five characters. So I know I can do this. I can do this walkthrough. Let's get amped up, baby! Woo! <laughs> forget your makeup or something? I did forget my makeup, actually. <laughs> so here we go, folks. This is my Resident Evil 4. No damage, all treasure, all bosses taken down without rocket launcher walkthrough. There is a lot of treasure to collect in this game. So get your stupid butt out there and collect it. And there we go. We, got, we just got a tip from Mr. Nick of War himself. And you better listen to his advice because he gives you some really good advice. So in case you've never played this game before, I just uh, want to fill you me. in and let Sir? you know that this is the best game ever. So just keep that in mind as you uh, play it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. Oh my gosh, that guy just swung an axe at me. What am I gonna do? I said freeze! You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. So how'd you like that sweet kick down, huh? Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. So, uh, during my playthrough, um, utilizing your knife as much as possible is an effective method for conserving ammo. So once again, Mr. Nick of War gives us a very useful tip. Completing a battle scene without performing one of those sick ass kickdowns just isn't badass. So I try to do something cool and memorable in each and every battle scene in this game. And I've learned a lot of stuff from watching other people play this game. Set the dog free, because he's not really going to help you with El Gigante. So yeah, that dog doesn't really help you too much with El Gigante. I just went ahead and set him free, just cause, just just cause I'm a nice guy. But um, <clears throat> what I was saying was, uh, and I forget what I was saying. 
Just excuse me for a second while I dominate this guy. <laughs> okay, anyways, what I was saying was uh, I've learned a lot of stuff from watching other guys play this game on YouTube, and um, I'd say some of the most useful stuff that I learned was from the people that do the speed runs in this game. And there, once again, we have a really sick slow motion replay. It's always fun. So what I'm uh, really proud of is um, I'm proud of a lot of things in this game, by the way, because I put a lot of work into it. But um, this next section coming up where the two chainsaw guys are, I'm pretty proud of it because I figured out a really effective way to take them both down without taking any damage. As you can see, I, I, I'm posting all the treasures in each area at the bottom of the screen. Skipping by the chainsaw guys in this part of the game is for pussies. <laughs> okay, and we got some more useful knowledge from Mr. Nick of War. But anyways, uh, yeah, I, I took down, I, I take down both of these uh, guys with the chainsaw in this area. And the first guy I have to use a grenade, but the second one I figured out a way to take him down without having to use any grenades. So that's that's pretty cool. That was like the sickest takedown ever. This being an all treasure walkthrough, I had to go ahead and take that guy with the chainsaw down so I could get the ruby from him. So now I'm just uh, gonna run into this house and initiate this scene. And when I take out this next guy with the chainsaw, I'm not gonna use any grenades. I'm trying to save all my grenades for some specific battles later on in the game. So I, you're going to see here in a sec how I figured out how to take him down without having to use any grenades. And it's a pretty good method. It works really well. And that was way too close right there. I would have been so mad if I had to do this over. So, as you can see, I'm just going to wait here where the path forks off. And then when they get close to me, I'll just uh, veer off. Because what I'm doing is I'm getting them all to... Uh, I'm tricking them all to coming to this ladder right here. And I'm going to stand back and shoot him off the ladder. And I could stand there with my knife and knife him off the ladder. But I'm not going to do that because um, they're going to be throwing axes. So I don't... This is a no damage run. So that would cause me too much frustration if I keep getting hit by axes. So I figured out that shooting the guy with the chainsaw off the ladder five times um, takes away enough damage to where you shoot him one more time and he dies. So what I do here is I shoot him off the ladder five times and the, the last time he comes up here for the sixth time I'm gonna let him come all the way up and then it's only one or two shots now and, and he'll be dead and then I can easily collect the treasure from him. Oh, 
So there we have it. There's your 10,000 pesos from the chainsaw fella. And there's your spinel. So now what I'm going to do is uh, the knife through the door trick so that I can save some ammo. So at this point, uh, we've already collected all the treasure for this area, so the rest of this stuff is just items, um, just uh, little uh, boxes of money and ammo and stuff. So um, as you can see, like through all the non-essential stuff, like collecting items, I'm going to fast forward through it. All the like boring, redundant stuff, I'm just going to, you know, fast forward through it. There's not really any need to watch it in real time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah! So I'm using, uh... I bought a really good computer, by the way. Um, it's a beast. And the movie editing program that I'm using right now is, uh... PowerDirector14. And this program's awesome. I love it. Um... And I don't know what more to say about it, okay? So by now, you should have two spinels and a red ruby. So as you can see, I have all the treasures posted for this area at the bottom of the screen there. And I'm going to be doing that, like I was saying before, um, I'm going to do that for every single area in this game. Uh, at the beginning, I'm going to post at the bottom what treasures are in the room. Hmm. Collect the golden chicken eggs. They're worth 3,000 pesos, baby. So just in case you've never played this game before, um, you want to go ahead and uh, shoot all of the blue medallions that are hidden throughout this area here, and there's seven of them in this area, and then there's eight more when you get to the church area to uh, shoot, and if you shoot all 15 of them, you'll get a free gun from the merchant. What I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to sell it back to him for 15,000 pesos. So I'm going to be having a wild butt sex party on Friday. Uh, I mean, sorry, I got off topic. So I'm going to break this game up into five different segments, I think. And uh, that's for all five chapters in the game. And I think there's a sixth chapter, but it's really short, so I'm just going to put it with chapter five. When you see a falling rock, run from it. Don't do the smart thing and just step out of the way. So here we go. We're going to have to dodge a falling rock, or a rolling rock. And uh, it's really kind of complicated what you have to do. you got to... Hit the square button really, really fast. And then you gotta hit square plus X really quickly. And we are recording. Okay, we're gonna this is... shoot those guys. Yeah, we're gonna shoot those guys. We're gonna collect those treasures too. Yeah. See that? Yeah. And these are called spinels. Yep, yeah, now I'm gonna shoot them. Now we're coming up on some zombies with some dynamite. What do you think about that? Yeah. They almost blew me up right there. Yeah. That was really close. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot this guy, his head is gonna explode. And then 
It's gonna blow up the rest of these guys watching. Whoa! Whoa! What'd you think about that? Yeah, I did like that. Okay. Are you gonna do that when you play the game? Yeah. Okay. Now watch this, I'm gonna shoot the dynamite right out of my guy's hand. Did you see that? Yeah. What do, you, what do you think about Resident Evil 4? I like it. Okay. So hear that banging noise? That's Luis trying desperately to get out of uh, the closet that he's stuck in. So we're going to go help him out. Because we're good guys like that. Feeble. Now. We're about to run into the merchant, and uh, I'm gonna be keeping the handgun that I have right now the the whole entire game. Over here. Ranger. And the reason why is just simply because I like this gun. I just like the way it looks. But um, the shotgun, so I am going to upgrade my handgun as much as it'll let me. But I'm only going to upgrade the shotgun that I have right now a couple notches up on the firepower. Because I'm going to go ahead and Something sell it. Might interest you. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'm going to be selling the shotgun that I have right now when we get to the castle. Because I'm going to buy the riot old? gun. Because <laughs> the riot gun is my favorite shotgun in this game. And as you can see, I got a red, green, and yellow herb mix. And uh, even if you're doing a no damage run... You definitely should not discard that because you can sell that for 10,000 each. So that's a pretty amount of money for um, that mix. I'm actually not going to buy the TMP right now. I'm going to be buying the TMP right before the first El Gigante fight. I end up selling a lot of ammo just because the game gives me quite a bit more ammo than I really need. If you were a good gamer, you'd do a ledge kickoff in this next area. So right here we're getting into one of the more difficult parts of the game. Uh, one of the first elevated uh, intensity battles in the first game. And that... And... <laughs> yeah, the first game! <laughs> oh man, I'm getting crazy! Yeah! Did you see that guy explode? Oh man, that was crazy. But anyways, uh, this area would be difficult, but the way I'm gonna do it makes it real easy. You have to do a sweet ledge kick, or else you just didn't do this area right. As you see, I'm just going to the top of this tower. So I'm just going to shoot him off the ladder. And then once in a while, when I'm confident that I'm not going to get hit by a flying axe, 
I'll run forward and start knifing him. But as soon as there's an opportunity for them to throw an axe at me, I'll back up and start shooting him off the ladder again. And that's my technique. Because I'm a really high-tech gamer, my friend. So I'm speeding this up ten times. Ten times! Can you believe it? It's pretty fast. So eventually these guys are going to stop coming and you're going to have to jump down and run towards the back end of that building to make them spawn. You know what I mean, right? So it's not really that hard to figure out. And there's not any more treasures here, so I'm just going to go around and collect some items. Alright, if that's okay with you. Okay, so here in a few moments, I'm going to have a guest speaker. Um, join me in my commentary quest, my Resident Evil 4 commentary quest, so just hold on a second, stand by. Hit him in the private spot. <laughs> you have the gun. Yes. His head just exploded. Oh my god. Now you're gonna shoot that guy in the leg. He doesn't shoot that. For he doesn't throw the axe at you. That's good. Now you're knifing him. He jumped off. Flew after yeah. I that, last time. that was crazy. Watch this. This next part is pretty cool. I'm gonna shoot the dynamite when I throw it. It's gonna blow up all three. Of them. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be cool. Oh, that's a nice one. That was crazy. Huh? Now you're gonna take out the bear traps. And I'm gonna open the door in a second. Now oh, you're gonna shoot that guy in the head. And then, and then explode his head. Now you're like knifing his back. <laughs> you're like boom, boom. He just, you shot his, oh! He shot it, yeah. Oh, you shot him where his arm was gonna go. They're gonna knife them right. I used my knife a lot in this game. Mm. I, mm. I became a knife master. Now it looks like you're speeding up. Just to get that. Yeah, yeah, I'm speeding through like uh when I'm collecting the items, I speed up the video. Uh I can hear the water noises. 
Watch, I'm gonna do a sweet ledge kick. I'm gonna kick this guy into the water. Watch. Oh no. Down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's when you collected the fish. Yeah. I caught some fish with my knife. And now you're selling it to the merchant. Yep, I'm gonna sell it to the merchant. Just for a gun. Listen then. Something I didn't mention before, um, and it's the same thing with the pearl pendant. Uh, there's a brass watch we're about to collect over there. And you just want to make sure that you don't let it drop in the water. It'll be worth a lot less money. So you want to close that door first and then collect it. Sadler and Mendez are really close friends. Really, really close friends. Hmm. Knife the chainsaw guy in the face, then kick him to the ground, then knife him on the ground, then knife him in the face again, then kick him to the ground, then knife him on the ground again, then knife him in the face again, and then kick him to the ground, then knife him on the ground again. So here we have a great example of what an incredible job they did on this game. To be able to take out the guy with the chainsaw just simply by using your knife um, is a great testament to how good this game is. Um, you know, with other games, you'd only be able to take him down with, say, the shotgun. You know, but in this game, you can do anything you want. You can take him down with your handgun and just kick him down take him down with your shotgun or you can use your skill and knife just use your knife so just uh, one great example of why this game is so good okay <laughs> yeah hey don't throw that axe at me So um, these little bit of stragglers that are hanging around here, I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. Um, there's a big group of enemies standing in front of the door over there, which um, I'm going to use the knife through the door trick on them once I get them to chase after me. To do the knife through the door trick, shoot a hole in the door first, and then continuously swing your knife. Don't stop swinging your knife. 
Don't stop swinging your knife. So for this part and for the next area that I go in, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the knife through the door trick. This is a whole bunch of enemies that I have to deal with. And I don't feel like dealing with them. I just want to save some ammo, okay? <laughs> that does sound kind of funny in fast forward. So there is actually um, a possibility that you can still get hit. If they swing the big pitchfork, they can actually hit you through the door still. So that's just something to keep in mind. That was like a, a total karate kick right there. That was freaking sick, bro. Another awesome ledge kick. I love it when I can do that. So right now we're uh, approaching the church and Leon did get some intel from Luis that Ashley might be in the church. So we're heading towards the church right now. And unfortunately, Leon's going to find out that the church is locked and he can't get in. So I won't be getting actually getting into the church until the next video, which is chapter 2. Let's get something from the merchant, eh? Something that might interest you. So I'm not going to be selling the beer scene or the elegant mask until I get all the attachments for them. It looks like I sold the fish already. I think it sells for 3,300. So as you can see, like. At this part in the game, um, I don't really keep that much ammo because you don't really need it, or at least I don't really need it. So I kind of keep it skimpy on the ammo so that I have more space for other stuff. So sometimes if you get lucky when you shoot these crows over here, one of them will drop a grenade but that only happens like one out of a hundred tries because I actually tried it. These kickdowns are pretty funny in slow motion. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard! Dynamite explodes, so when you see a stick of it, shoot it with your gun. Boom! Man, I just dominated those guys. <laughs> the 
this puzzle right here, um, all you have to do is highlight the Z, the M, and the V. And then that'll open it up. It's not that difficult. That was just awesome. Something I didn't uh, learn until kind of recently was um, that you can throw a flash grenade and take out all those crows at one time. So that's actually something I didn't learn until recently. Aren't I a novice? <laughs> So here I'm going to get my reward for um, shooting all 15 of the medallions. I get my free Punisher and I'm going to sell it back to the merchant so that I can put an extra 15,000 pesos in my pocket. So that's nice. So we're going to get chased by a rolling rock once again. As you know, it's kind of complicated what you have to do. You have to hit the square button really, really fast. You don't need to take all these guys out in this area. Just collect the treasure and get the heck out, baby. So I'm actually taking Nick of War's advice here and I'm gonna take out the guys that I have to and then collect the treasure and then get the heck out. It's gonna be... Once you get about halfway through this area here, a whole group of enemies are gonna spawn. Um, into the room behind you so if you don't want to deal with them just run just collect the stuff and get the heck out so that's what I'm gonna do I don't really do that too often during my playthrough but uh, this is one of those sections where I will do it and actually I think it's more fun just to get out of here real quick just kick them, kick these guys to the ground, and then run around them. It's kind of cool at the end what I do. You'll see it in a second. So I'm just going to collect this stuff real quick. I'm going to kick these guys down to get them out of my way. And then I do the same thing in that last little cabin. So, uh, when it comes to those uh, explosive lines, if you aim and shoot immediately, 
um, it'll blow them up because you're already aiming right at it when you first start aiming. Except for this one right here. This one you gotta aim down a little bit. But most of the other ones are like right in line with your with where you're aiming. This one you aim. Yeah, like I said, I don't do this too often where I just run past them, but for this section, I thought it was more fun to just kick them down and then run by them. You don't have to take out all the enemies all the time. So I've had this dubstep song stuck in my head like all morning, and I'm going to show a sample of it after this scene right here. When you get a weighted rope caught around your leg, be sure to cut away desperately at the most difficult part of the rope to cut, because that makes sense. So Del Lago really is not that hard of a fight compared to the other boss fights in the game. I'd say the absolute most difficult fight in the whole game without using a rocket launcher it was Verdugo. At least doing it without damage. So um, something that I never figured out how to do is throw a spear at him right there. Um, I watched some of the guys that do the speed run with this boss and they managed to throw a spear right as El uh, Del Lago is coming up. But I never figured out how to do it, and it doesn't really matter. I'm not doing a speed run. So we're getting to the end of chapter one, and I'm going to be splitting my walkthrough up into five separate videos, one video for each chapter. And I think there's six chapters in this game, but chapter six is so short it's not even worth it to call it a chapter so yeah this is great I'm about to finish the first video I hope you guys uh, like the video and hope you subscribe and do all that kind of stuff and give it likes um, put a lot of work into this game so anyways hopefully you'll stick around for chapter two
got something that might interest you. <laughs>